What's going on everybody? Today in this video, I will be replacing my rear diff fluid as well as my transmission fluid. Uh, I have a 2004 six speed, so it is a T56. Um, I'm gonna be using Mobile One synthetic fluids for both. I believe the 97 to 2000 doesn't take well to uh, synthetic, so I will read up on that if I were you and you have a in between those years. Um, my rear diff fluid that I got here, the Mobile One already comes with the additive in it as well, so I'm not gonna be worrying about that. Um, you're gonna be using a 10 millimeter Allen key for the rear diff, and that's where I'm gonna start. So for the rear diff, you have a uh, fill plug up here on the passenger side, right by the axle. So once again, 10 millimeter Allen key. And then on the bottom, you have another one. That's the drain plug. Um, that's the transmission right there. We'll get to that a little bit later. And I'll show you. But like I said, I'm gonna start off with this uh, 10 millimeter on a half inch ratchet. Uh, it's pretty hard. So whoever had the car or worked on the car before, definitely tighten it up too much. Of course, don't forget to put a oil drain pan down. Um, I highly recommend leveling your car out. I didn't, I only had it lifted in the rear. I, I suggest having it lifted in the front and the back. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I didn't get all of that fluid out of there. Um, when it was done coming out, or when it stopped dripping, went ahead and wiped off that surface and replaced the drain plug. I didn't put anything on the drain plug, like any uh, thread locker or anything like that. Screwed it in as far as I could and then used my torque wrench. I tightened it up to 26 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna be posting a link in the description for all the torque specs that I have. So I'm gonna be using this Mobile One synthetic gear lube. Comes with the limited slip uh, additive already added to it. I'm gonna be using this pump that I got at AutoZone. I'm pretty sure you can get one from Harbor Freight or wherever you get your parts or tools from. Uh, it has two straws, a longer one and a short one. Gonna be using the long straw and uh, it screws right onto the top. Just pump all of it out. Uh, this rear diff takes two quarts, but once you get to like, I'd say two ounces or so, it, it kind of stops. So what I did was unscrew the pump and kind of angle it down into a quarter or corner so I could uh, suck that out, pause, and um, switch over bottles to the other bottle, screw it right on. And um, at the end, I kind of poured the other bottle into the other one to raise the level just to get a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure I got like 1.8 or 1.9 quarts in there. So I, I don't think I said it before, but on the uh, drain and fill plug on the rear diff, there's like a little washer. So you want to make sure that it's still on there and uh, tighten it up as much as you can and then uh, torque it down to 26 foot pounds of torque. Moving on to the uh, transmission, the T56. We have the uh, drain plug here in the back and the fill is on the other side, right above this used Exron 3 ATF only sticker. Um, they are not the Allen wrench. They are a uh, 3 8 square or whatever you want to call this. I'm going to put this uh, reducer on a half inch with an extension and bust it loose. Mine's had some uh, grime and dirt in there, so it took a, a bit of wiggling to make sure that it was seated in there all the way. Just like the uh, rear diff plugs, somebody tightened this one up with the Oogadoogas. So I had to uh, use some strength to get that loose. Once you get it loose, make sure you got your uh, drain pan under there, because that is gonna leak. It has uh, four quarts. I believe it takes four quarts to fill this up. So it's gonna be a lot coming out. I uh, went ahead and waited until it came to a drip. I uh, put the drain plug back in and tightened it up until I couldn't really you know, get it any uh, tighter and then got my torque wrench and went with 20 foot pounds of torque. That's the best I could find online. I couldn't really find a definitive torque spec on it. So that's what I went with. And here's the fill plug. Once again, this right here is my skip shift eliminator. Um, it eliminates that one to four shift that kicks out. So uh, they did that on 
these cars to meet gas mileage demands or whatever from the government I believe so that was their solution I actually put it on because my reverse lockout had uh, got stuck closed so, so you either end up with it getting stuck open or closed you prefer closed because if it's open you're gonna maybe shift into that on the highway trying to get in the fifth gear like I said before gonna be using this mobile one synthetic ATF uh, it's supposed to replace a whole bunch of different uh, transmission fluids the uh, pump had all that gear lube in there so I went ahead and uh, switched the straws over and pumped out a little bit just gonna go ahead and put this tube in there pump out some uh, once you get down to the bottom of the bottle same thing happens as with the other one I uh, had to unscrew the top and kind of lean it over so I can get the straw into the corner but once I was done I only got like about three and a half quarts in there I think it takes four like I said before but my car was leaned forward uh, it dripped out I went ahead and tightened it up the uh, fill plug and then use the torque wrench to tighten that to uh, 20 foot pounds of torque and that's pretty much it once I got that uh, torqued in I went ahead and started clean up and dropped the car to explain C5 Corvettes uh, for those that don't know they come with what's somewhat of a transaxle the rear diff is in the back and it's connected directly to the transmission which is in the back and it's for a uh, uh, weight balance purposes so the c5 c6 and c7 come like this i believe the c8 changed because it's a uh, rural or mid engine um so on the c5 c6 and c7 you have a torque tube that goes from the front of the transmission to the rear of the motor in the front of the car and the shifter in the car is connected to a linkage so it doesn't sit directly on top of the transmission so uh like a fourth gen or a viper t56 it's not directly connected everything worked out the only issue i had was when i was in the driveway testing i couldn't get it in the third and fourth but once i backed out and got on the road that was no longer an issue so thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one